YouTube has been really good to me, more so than I could have ever imagined. I get to share my voice and my ideas. I get to meet new people and help solve problems. My ultimate favorite part about YouTube is that I now have a visual diary of my life at multiple points in my journey. But sometimes I get in these spaces in life where I straight up don't feel like doing it. I wake up with the plan to film or edit or do one of the many, many tasks it takes to make a video like the very one you're watching right now. I hate feeling this way because it gives me anxiety. And for me, anxiety is a one-sided interview. Why don't you want to make YouTube videos? Is it just one of those many things that you start and quit? What are you going to say when people ask you about that next video? And the biggest question, which is more so of a statement, I thought this was your passion. In this distant time in my life, I discovered a new way of thinking. And that is the idea that passion may not be what I'm actually seeking. I've been led to believe that passion is the thing that wakes you up in the morning and provides you with an amazing place to sleep at night. It's in every thought we have and every decision we make. It's the obvious factor in life that some people come upon and their lives seem complete. Their lives become full of a plan and that plan has so much certainty. Elizabeth Gilbert, author of Eat, Pray, Love, brought me to this notion though. If you wait long enough, life will undo your certainty. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Simone. I make lifestyle videos and vlogs, but before we jump into the vlog, I want to give a special thanks to Javi for partnering with me for this part of the vlog. Javi is a coffee concentrate company that gives you the perfect cup of iced coffee or hot coffee if you're into that in a matter of seconds. Javi is perfect for me because you can literally microdose your coffee which is perfect for someone like me who is very, very sensitive to caffeine. One bottle of the coffee concentrate is about 15 bucks, which gives you 30 servings, which for me is perfect because I usually only drink one cup of coffee a day which is another great point for me because you get to save so much money. I've tried so many other things, like I've done pour over coffee, I've done the cold brew where I brew my coffee overnight, but the fact that if I wake up, I can literally just go downstairs, like throw some things in a cup, and then I have a powerful, amazing tasting cup of coffee is phenomenal. Like, I'm really into this coffee. I'm really into this. I have it on my to-do list to order the mocha flavor because I really want to try that out, but they also have French vanilla, caramel, and like I said, the original flavor that I've been using. I've linked my discount code below. Um, that's 30% off of your first purchase. That's an amazing deal because like I said, it starts at 15 bucks. So make sure you grab that. Once again, thank you so, so much, Javi, for partnering with me for this portion of my vlog. Okay, so when I was taking a break from YouTube, which by the way, I was taking a break because I just literally did not feel like doing it. And I was like, why, 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 oh my God, like am I not as into this as I thought? But when I tell you, I think about YouTube so much. I'll be out, I'm like, oh my God, I wish I'm filming it. I wish I uh, like captured that on camera. I wish I could share this with you guys. Oh my God, this will be a great topic. Like YouTube is something I think about all the time which is a good sign, but my thoughts about YouTube when I don't post can get really unproductive. Like, wow, if I'm not posting, does that mean I'm not really into YouTube? And fortunately, I came across uh, this podcast, which it's one of my favorite podcasts, Oprah's Super Soul Conversations. Um, I came across her episode with Elizabeth Gilbert, the author of Eat, Pray, Love, and other books as well, who has an amazing story. She's an amazing speaker. She's really silly. But this episode is called The Curiosity Driven Life, and it is all about how the idea or the notion of passion maybe isn't what we think it should be. And there's an alternative if you feel a little strange about what passion is. So... I have lived my life thinking passion is that thing that wakes you up in the morning and it's like the first thing on your mind, like, woohoo, I get to go to work because I'm so happy to be there because of my passion, but that's so dangerous to expect to get fulfillment out of something because you care deeply about it. And 
that's not productive it's not necessary and elizabeth charges us to replace passion with curiosity curiosity will take you so much further than passion ever could there's no there's no ties there's there's no ties there's no loyalty to curiosity because you can wonder about something, you can get into it, and you can leave it right there. But when you have a passion, it's that thing that you've been searching all your life for, or it's that thing, I don't know. The thing you have so many expectations for, and that can be really dangerous. There's just so many great lessons in this podcast. I will link it below. I think everyone should listen, especially if you're that person out there who's just like, so anxious about not knowing what their passion is or feeling weird about a hobby or a skill set or a subject that they're into that they don't feel obsessed with because you don't have to be. You don't have to be obsessed with something to be successful at it or for that thing to bring you joy. Like, I love my job. I feel like I'm getting really good at it and it means a lot to me. However, it's not my passion and that is okay. It still brings me joy. I still learn from it every day, but it's not my passion. Instead of saying, you know, I'm gonna take up kayaking or like freaking woodworking, not because it may be a passion, but because I'm curious about it. And let's see where it goes. You're lessening the expectations. You're lessening the feeling that it has to be something you you do all the time and you wake up thinking about and you talk about it and it's everything that's on your mind at all times that's not realistic and that's obsessive and it's not necessary so i don't know what do you think about that um it's, it's just been on my mind all week and i want to share that with you guys i'm learning about passion and i wanted to share it with you okay bye Okay, I went to Ikea yesterday to literally pick up two new pots and then I saw the most beautiful majesty palm and I'm like, I have to get it because my other majesty palm died. Like it's been dead for a year. It literally has cobwebs. But yeah, <laughs> I ended up getting that little plant tray you just saw me put together. And then like two weeks ago, I got these plants that are literally passing away as we speak. Um, <laughs> a basil plant and a parsley plant. To At this point, I don't know which one is which. Oh, this is basil, this is parsley. I think but yeah I'm gonna take better care of them and I'm gonna have them by this nice open window and I got the cutest little pots let me show you all everything you're seeing here is from Ikea so this pot was like seven bucks look at the detail like so beautiful and then I got this fun pot here also seven bucks can't beat it I already have one of these but mine leaks so I got a new one. I think this was like three bucks to spritz. Oh, how could I forget? I got the cutest little cactus. Cactus? I thought it was cacti. You see? I know I'm not crazy. Does that say cactus? Cactus cacti? But these little cute little critters. Be going in this cutie, which is like also seven bucks, so almost 30 bucks on little pots. But 
worth it. And then these little heat, like, I don't know what this is, cork, will go under the plant. I think I need to poke a hole at the bottom of these because they need a little drainage thing. Do small plants need a drainage hole? Yeah, they do. It says plants in pots without drainage holes are prone to becoming overwatered. I'm gonna drill a hole in these little bad boys. Okay, I got my little drill, baby. Okay, all I'm gonna do is just drill a little hole into the middle of each pot. How crazy can this be? Oh, I got it. I got it, there's a hole in it. Ah! Okay, all right, to be honest, Whichever plant gets this pot, is, it's gonna, probably gonna die. Cause I can't book a hole in it. Like I said, whichever plant gets this pot, it's gonna pass away. a tennis racket for a while but the only ones Target had were purple I don't like that color it's just not a color that matches who I am as a person I know you would be confused by that statement because purple is royal but purple is not the nicest color aesthetically so I got black and white same price as the purple I think we made it to the court. I have not played tennis since I was like seven, but I did see Serena the other week. You know, lose. She lost, but it was a win because she played amazingly. And she's the best. And anything she does is a win. I'm close. Can I just serve? No, 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 no. I just want to serve between the All right, go ahead. There you go. Selena would have hit it. Hey. Oh, you see me? Hi. Okay, I'm about to go to my friend Gabriel. He's having a movie premiere for his movie and I've seen like maybe 20 minutes of it and it was really good so I'm excited to see the whole thing. So yes, I'm meeting my girl Monica there and I'm just like literally so excited. I have so many friends to be proud of and I feel like that is just such a huge deal. And yeah, I think that's it guys. I'm just so proud of my friend, so excited to see this movie in full and Guys, you need friends you can be proud of, friends you can celebrate, friends you can like be excited about. I feel so blessed. Okay, so you got the premiere. Okay, he's gonna attack that and I actually attack that back there. Okay. Hey, brother. How do you feel about your movie premiere? Uh, Cabral uh, sponsored by Topo Chico. It's amazing. You guys, you guys want to back? Mm -hmm. Sure. Are you one of the producers? I am. You are? What's your name? Cabral. 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 One bag for me. Monica's here. Yeah. 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 Okay. His mom was like, yeah. well, at least he was able to build himself out. <laughs> 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 
second grade, I had a project, Black History Project, about Garrett Morgan. Uh, I focused on the traffic light because he invented the precursor to the traffic light. But the research that I did about the gas mask. My friend, won't you tell me the answers again? My heart bleeds red.